Chris Paul has the most all-star selections, all-NBA selections, and career points of any player to have never played in the NBA Finals. It's been 16 long years, and Paul said he can wait a little longer, saying he will not think about the final stage, quote, until the job is done. Paul said he is laser-focused heading into tonight's Game 5 against the Clippers, and his son's teammates are focused on propping him up as well. Devin Booker said he knows how much Paul wants it and added, quote, we have his back. Now for a report on the Clippers, let's go to Om Young Masu. Thanks, Dave. Erasing a 3-1 deficit has only been done 13 times ever, but Ty Lue did it with the Cleveland Cavaliers in the 2016 NBA Finals. I asked Lou what can he take from the comeback to help the Clippers. He said it starts by winning the first quarter of Game 5 and taking it quarter by quarter. Lou remembers LeBron James setting the tone for the Cavs by scoring 12 of his 41 points in the first quarter of Game 5. Tonight, Paul George knows he can't miss six of seven three-pointers in the first quarter like he did in Game 4. Otherwise, that could be the Clippers' season. Back to you, Stephen A. Thanks, Ohm. We've got a champion in the house in Kendrick Perkins, a Hall of Famer right next to me in Mike Wilbon. Perk, I'll go to you first. What should we expect from CP3 tonight? I expect CP3 to come out and lead his troops. He's going to come out with a killer mindset, Stephen A. and Mike Wilborn. When you think about his post-game interview with Rachel Nichols and she asked him about being up 3-1, what did he say? I don't want to talk about it because I have had bad experiences being up 3-1. That means to tell me that he's locked in, he's focused. I expect CP3 to bring the intensity. I expect them to bring... Well, Bon, I'll ask you, what, 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 are your what are your expectations for CP3 tonight? I expect him to lead the Suns out of this sort of offensive malaise that they've been in, Stephen A. Bit bit. Which bit means bit. himself first, right? right? I mean, he and Devin Booker, I mean, these are, these are as good of players as there are in the league in terms of poise and difficult circumstances. They have, by the way, they've avoided an elimination situation so far in this postseason. They haven't even had that. Um, I expect to see those guys play with a lot more calm and purpose offensively while still playing with the kind of defense they were in the first half when they held the Clippers down in game four. I, I expect to see that tonight. Well, on, I want to transition to another question to you because uh, obviously I, I've been dying to ask you this question. CP3, at this stage and point in his career, in his life, he's made it this far. Once upon a time, he was playing with Blake Griffin. That didn't work out. Was playing in Houston with James Harden. That didn't work out. Both wanted to part ways with him and vice versa, it seems. How should they look right now in light of the fact that CP3 is knocking on the door and about to make the NBA Finals? That's a great question, but I, I, let me answer it this way. Even Chris Paul has said, and Chris and I are, are working on a project together, his book together, and I'm the editor for it. And we talked about a million things over these past few months. And one of the things Chris says, he is self-examining. He is self-critical. And you know, I don't hear a word of him blaming the players that he that it didn't work out That's with. True. That they didn't make it all the way. He never does it. Never not on it. the record, not off the record. He doesn't do it. He examines himself. He's changed everything. His workout regimen, his diet, his attitude about certain things. And even Devin Booker jokingly says he can be tough to take, meaning the leadership part right. that where Chris Paul just he, he can't be easy. It's got to be difficult, right. and they talk about that. But Chris applies it to himself and the current team. I know he's been tough on DeAndre Ayton, particularly earlier in the year. Right. Well, it's worked, damn it. It worked. 22 rebounds and in the so last two, 70% from the field. Maybe that's where some of those other former teammates right. ought to say, well, maybe it would have worked if we kept at it. I have never heard one time Chris Paul blame the guys you've talked about for them not getting over the hump and into the championship round. Perk, I'll go to you. James Harden, Blake Griffin, former teammates of CP3. As you said, Herb Wilbon just explained, CP3 doesn't talk bad about them and vice versa to their credit. How are they looking right now if CP3 ends up going to the finals? Real quick. Well, they looking, they looking crazy for the simple fact that CP3 is a guy that holds people accountable. All right, he's a guy that leads by example. He is a winner. And if you can't handle CP3, then he, he you, you're you just a soft-minded and not t mentally tough. CP3 could have went anywhere this offseason. He could have got bought out. He could have went to the Lakers. He could have went anywhere. He chose to go to the Phoenix Suns with Monty Williams and a young core because he knew that they would embrace him with open arms. Well, listen, I'll give CP3 all the credit in the world for that perk and Mike Wilbon because he did make that choice and obviously before he was traded to Phoenix. 
But let's not forget he is getting over forty million dollars. That is an incentive. <laughs> let's not act like that. <laughs> 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 but, but he did that. choose but to get four, in here. Forty million. <laughs> forty million with less state income tax. Anyway. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.